Hello YouTube nerds, this is Miss Joyce for coming to you and I'm glowing. <laughs> I think it's my neck, which I might have to take this off. Because it could be. It's my little outfit I have on today. The earrings. A pretty little cross I found at the store. I thought that was so cute. It goes along with the red. I might as well give you guys a stand up shot. Okay, this is me now. As I remember day one, I had a really big bulge here, but if I pull my pants down, I don't have that bulge anymore. It is absolutely gone. I have a little, little bit right here, but it's not um, not like it was in my chair. So this is day number 13, and that's my stand-up shot there. They, this is how I look with the um, shirt down. So as you guys see, like I said, when I lose, it is really fast. I still have a background, but it don't look too bad. Um, so, yes, that's my stand up shot for today. Um, this day 13. Let's see where I'm at. This is day 13. I didn't do I didn't do videos over this weekend because some things changed for me. Okay, yes, this is day 13. So I want to let you guys know. I'm trying to talk downward so that the um my necklace is. Or you know what? I can just take it off. Once I decided to um to do the intermittent fasting, I'm gonna list the one gentleman. His name is Michael Laura. And he has a YouTube webinar on on YouTube. He has a, a webinar on intermittent fasting, and that is the most amazing thing. I really wished <laughs> I would have watched that before I started my 21 day, because I kept seeing it on on the YouTube when I was going through um, trying to get all the information on the um, 21 day water fast and different things. And I would see the little thing, the whole webinar. It was an hour long, so that's the reason why I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> That's the reason why I didn't want to watch it. It was an hour long. But I listened to it all last night, and he basically, because you hear a lot of people talking about the intermittent fasting. And so he has, it's several ways to do the intermittent fasting. And I'm going to list that website now in my description box so that you can just click on it and you can listen to what it all entails so I don't have to go through the whole spill of it. Well, he lists four different ones. And so today I'm starting off on the, oh, yesterday I started actually on the, his is called the Warriors Intermittent Fasting. And this is where you fast for the 20 hours, which I'm basically already in. Um, and then you have a four-hour eating window in which you eat, I think he said around about 800 to 1,200 calories, I think. Um, but I'm going I'm gonna, I'm gonna to stick to the lower end of 800 cents. My body is already kind of in tune with the fasting. He do, he do tell you how to ease your weight into it over a two-week span and all of that. It's very good for those of you who don't think you can just bust out and do a whole 21 day. I'm on day 13 of the, uh, my 21 day fast, but some things have definitely changed. Um, I'm very excited. Um, the way I'm looking right now, you know. <laughs> so it was a big change. Um, I got down to the lowest of 211. Um, that was 211.8. 211.8, and that was on Friday. I was 211.8. But you guys don't know, my mom is down here um, from Michigan for a while, and she's been with my eldest sister for most of the time, but now she wanted to come and see me for this weekend. And, of course, we walk to um, the different stores. We walk to Dots. We love we love five minutes away from the mall and Toys R Us and all the things. So we just basically walked and made a whole day of it. Um, and so at the mall, they all ate and everything, which was okay. <laughs> um, they you know were asking questions like why you ain't eating, why are you not eating and stuff like that. So that was um, a little bit difficult. Um, um, but, you know, it wasn't really tempting. It was difficult, but not too tempting. But um, after Sunday, the next day, um, uh, I decided after 
um, church and everything, and we take it. We took communion and all of that. And so I had this thing in my spirit to just kind of like not end my fasting because I have seen such amazing results. Um, so I wanted to, um, later on that night, I was just asking God, the Holy Spirit, how to, um, how can I transition into the next phase of the fasting? And so instead of going to the whole 21 days, because this is the other reason why um, I was, even that Saturday at the mall and then that Sunday, Tom is coming. I'm six days away from Tom, which is like, oh, my goodness. I, I do, like I did show you, the bottom part of my stomach is pushed. And it's gonna it's it's that way every time I get ready for Tom to come. And now and this is six days away. So remember I told you before Tom I used the game to ten pounds or whatever. So it haven't been as bad and I, I got to contribute that to the fact he shows you how to slowly, slowly introduce it into that why all at the same time completely transitioning your body from carbohydrate burns to fat burning. And so you completely change your body com um, composition around your, the stomach fat. That's one of the first places it attacks, which is really, I ate the one meal, it was a low-carb meal. So you guys, I did not binge, <laughs> okay? So that is very good. You don't go for 13 days or 12 days and then be like, you know, I'm gonna break my fast and then just go eat everything. I didn't do that this time. Woo! Yes! <laughs> I didn't want to lose all the um, benefits that I had got, which has been awesome. I mean, I think the spiritual breakthrough has been even more awesome than the physical that I can see with my body, but the spiritual thing, the big things that was happening in my life that needed to be broken. So I'm so excited about that. Um, so the warrior intermittent fasting in which you go 20 hours um, of fasting, and then, so he, so like with my plan, from like 6 to 8 or from 12 to 4, I can have my eating phase in which I eat 800 to 1,200 calories. But 1,200, I think it's a whole lot for someone who haven't been eating for a whole lot. And another thing I thought that I was going to have really bad stomach pains. Now, mind you guys, when I did eat, I only ate the size of my palm. I did not overeat because I know I had not been eating food. So I didn't want to go and gulge on this food and then get a really, really bad stomach ache. Um, so what I did was I took hamburger meat, sauteed in onions with um, heavy whipping, a little bit of heavy whipping cream and cheese, and I had some um, scans. And I ate that like a, a nacho type thing, and it was on the size of my hand. And, of course, you know, because of the sodium that's going to be in it and you haven't been eating any salt, your body going to hold on to it, especially with me, with Tom, six days away. And so I do I do like to report that I only had a three-pound gain, um, which is good because, you know, you know, when you're coming off your fast, they say you can instantly gain your whole 10 pounds back. So <laughs> that was another, another, another good thing for me. I did not... You no know, shoot from so like yesterday I ate around about four o'clock. I only ate the size of my palm that that much, and um, I only ate that little. And then I continued back on my fast throughout. Now it's easier for me, like I said, because I've been fasting every single day for thirteen, you know, until the thirteen days. So now, you know, it's easier for me to just eat that little bit and be satisfied. And so I still haven't ate or anything this morning. I'm gonna wait till around about twelve. Or 12 o'clock today or 4 o'clock today and then I'm going to have, again, I made some oopsie rolls that completely messed up. <laughs> so I'm calling them my flat rolls. <laughs> okay, this is what I'm going to do today for my meal, um, which, like I said, you have a four-hour eating window. I'm going to try to eat on it within that hour because I think, uh, again, because it's still low-carb, it's not causing my stomach to want more or cause me to want to get go and eat crazy or something, which is really good because then I know, I know I can maintain. So for the, for the rest of, also I'm going to take the hamburger meat with my flat uh, Oopsie Rolls and I'm going to roll that up with some cheese and maybe a little bit of lettuce and I'm going to have two or three of those. And they're not that big, just the size of your hand. And that's what I plan on doing for lunch today. Um, and I'm going to do 
I'm going to do the intermittent warrior fast, intermittent fasting for the next nine days. Uh, well, yeah, today, eight days after today. So still going on my 21 day journey, but I'm doing it with the intermittent fasting now. So for those of you who do want to fast, but you don't want to do the whole um, 21 days just water alone, I would suggest you click on that link below and listen to what he got to say about the intermittent fasting. It will help you still lose a ton of um, um, weight and fat and then will reposition your body where, you know, you, you look better, skinner, thinner stomach, you know. All the extra fat deposits, he, he said, everything goes back beautifully. And so you're still eating, you're just going to basically shift the times you eat. Um, and, and I know you just have to listen to the whole hour. Don't try to skip it because he has, it's really, really, really awesome. If I would have listened to that before I did jump into the 21 day, I would have did his way um, better and worked my way up to something like a whole 21 day. But um, So I went from 211.8 to 214.8, which was a three pound gain. Which is still good. Um, I'm hoping as my body get used to the salt that I can continue to go down for the next nine days. But uh, like I said, I do have an approaching time, and I don't. I just don't know how that's going to turn out. I I did measure myself this morning though because I was thinking to myself, well, uh oh, I'm starting to eat a little sodium and all of this stuff. Is the weight going to come back? So I measure myself, and I'm actually. Um, at small, my measurements are the same, so I didn't gain anything around my waist, around anything. It just was water, extra water being held. Okay, and not binge though. Don't binge. He tells you with the intermittent fasting, the best diet, uh, fasting, and the best diets for intermittent fasting is like the Mediterranean diet, the Atkins diet, where you're getting more vegetables and lean protein in, because. Right after the intermittent warrior fast, then I'm going into what they call the intermittent lean gain. So that is a 16-hour fast from like, um, it just depends on how you social your social life is. So if you're a late social life person, you want to probably do a 2 to 10, something like that, or... Um, like for me, I don't have no social life at the end of the day, so I'm going to do more of a 2 to like 2 to 7, something like that, or 2 to, I'm not going to go after 10, 7 or 8. So that's how I'm, I'm going to eat my calories between that time and then at 7 or 8 o'clock, 8 all the way up until 2 the next day, then I stop eating again. So it'll have like a 16 hour window all the way around to your next eating. So you don't eat nothing between, and which is good because you're gonna go eight that night. You're gonna sleep all the way. You're not eating, sleeping nothing, sleeping, eat. You wake up. You don't eat in the morning, and then you keep going that way as well. You keep going all the way into two o'clock, and then right at the end of your right when you come to the end of your fast, they tell you to do your exercise because that's the part where your body is releasing the most growth hormones, where you can. Do exercise, lean training like weightlifting or Pilates or yoga, something to build your muscles. So I'm very excited. I know that kind of sounds confusing, but <laughs> I'm very excited about um, this next nine days. I, I'll, I know for sure I won't be able to do 21, the, the rest of my nine days with the water alone, not with time approaching. I already know. I feel it. And I would rather do something like this instead of completely cheat and mess myself completely up and start bench eating. Well, why am I saying bench? I don't bench eat, but just go eat a lot of the wrong types of food. So I don't want to do that. So I'm going to enter into the, I'm still fasting. It's just called intermittent fasting. I'm going to have a link below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys are not too disappointed that I didn't finish my 21 days of water alone. But you have to listen to your body. You know what, how much you can take and how much you can't. Okay, you guys. Thanks for your support. Bye-bye.